Yo guys, what is going on? Matt here, and welcome to the off season. So, that's it. When it's all said and done, your Padres are done with. They came home empty-handed and were eliminated from the playoffs in the 2015 NLDS by the Washington Nationals. Now, this team is very good. We almost got swept. Won game three, lost game four, lose the series three to one. Not how we wanted it to go. And how did the playoffs end off? Well, here you go. The Yankees defeated the Brewers in the 2015 World Series. Wow. So in real life, I guarantee you that will never happen. One, because the Brewers will never make the playoffs. And even if the Yankees made it, I don't even think they would make it to the World Series. Here's how the playoff bracket went. Yankees actually won the wild card game against Houston. Um, so it's kind of cool seeing a wild card team go to the World Series like last year, but this time win it, unlike the Royals. And that is that. So go ahead and pause the video if you want to go ahead and see how your team did, if it made the playoffs. And you see our GM, GM rating is improved now, one up to a B. And we did get the um, expectation of reaching the postseason. However, we did not win the league pennant. So here are the 2015 retirees. A um, couple of big names. I'm going to go to the big ones, I guess. David Ortiz, Ichiro Suzuki, they were both inducted into the Hall of Fame. R.A. Dickey, you see there. But I just really want to get started on the offseason. What is the goal for us as the ownership, the GM of the San Diego Padres? What do we want to accomplish? Well, I'll tell you one thing. The pitching rotation is going to be changed a little bit. Um, it's going to get a little younger and... I, the overalls won't change, but it's just going to get a little younger, I think. So obviously, Henry Owens is going get, to get called up, a potential pitching prospect. Right now, Casey Kelly is in the minors. We'll see what we do with him over the offseason. Um, Noah Syndergaard obviously going to be higher up in there. He's going to play a bigger role this year. Hopefully, his overall will go up as well. And overall, um, yeah, I just want to move those guys up. We're probably going to have to lose about two pitchers. And we're going to have to keep one here. Obviously, we're already going to keep James Shields because he has a three-year contract. Uh, but also, the third base situation. Will Middlebrooks is not a bad option at third, but there are definitely much better. So that's what I want to look for. Um, not necessarily get younger, maybe pitching-wise in the pitching rotation, but otherwise in the field, um, get some good you know, star players to play some positions. So what do we do? Well, we have to go ahead and sign some players. And like I said in the last video, we have a lot of guys not under contract that we have to sign. Alcides Escobar is one of those. He gets a five-year contract. We sign him. It's going to go kind of fast here, so I'll try to go through it. Sean Kelly, the reliever, he is re-signed. Dale Thayer, a, another reliever, he is re-signed. And the big one, Justin Upton, left field, re-signed for six years, $87 million. He was probably the biggest target we needed to re-sign this offseason if we had to lose a couple of players he would not be one of them as he got re-signed big one there he will start and left henry owens gets re-signed our top pitching prospect second top pitching prospect is casey kelly he gets to re-sign for two years um after that we re-sign the probably the catcher of the future for this team austin hedges for three years um after austin we went ahead and re-signed Noah Syndergaard, big part of our of our rotation. Six million over three years. He gets re-signed to a brand new deal. After that, Andrew Kashner is going to return to the rotation for just under 60 million over five years. He will back up James Shields at second in the pitching rotation. Here's he comes back. Also, Will Myers, two years for him. I couldn't get a long-term deal. This so uh, this is basically the closest we could get to signing him. Um, so this is the only thing he would accept. So we have Upton in left, Myers in center, and um, Kemp in right. Derek Norris, he will come back. Five years, 20 million. I might end up training him. I'm not sure, but for right now, he's going to stay here. He is, I guess, the fan favorite. Kevin Quackenbush, the reliever, he gets re signed. Um, nine, just under 10 million over five years. Nick Vincent, another good reliever, the all star. He gets re signed. And you'll see here, huge trade. I said I wanted to upgrade at third, and that is exactly what we are doing. We're trading away Matt Kemp, who is 31, getting a little older, 84 overall. Casey Kelly, our second best pitching prospect, A potential, 76 overall. There were, honestly, for him, we just weren't going to find a spot for him. And Yonder Alonso, we did re-sign him, I didn't show it. 
but he wanted a lot of money and honestly his 72 overall B potential I know he's 28 but I just don't see him improving that much so what do we do we get back Evan Longoria who is a year younger than Kemp 90 overall though at third he's our new starting third baseman and also in addition to the starting pitching rotation since we lost Ian Kennedy um, Drew Smiley 82 overall B potential I'm just I'm glad to bring him back I honestly am I think yes we're giving away Kemp but we are getting a huge, huge player back in Evan Longoria. The fan favorite in Tampa Bay is no more. He comes overseas, not overseas, over the country to the other side of the U.S. to California, San Diego. And he's the new starting baseman for the Padres. It was huge, but I had to do it, guys. I really did. Padres also trade for a left fielder who is going to be their center fielder. Ben Revere, we give up Josh Johnson and Melvin Upton Jr., which is huge because for those of you that don't know, Melvin Upton Jr. is not good, and he has a huge, huge contract that the Padres had to take over in that Kimbrel trade. And uh, we also get Mike Napoli for first base with Edward Mujica and another reliever. So we have our team 11th overall. It says that will probably change. But as we go through the lineups and the pitching rotation, this is what it looks like. Left fields in the outfield, still good. We got... Justin Upton left, we re-signed him. Now we have Will Myers in right. He shifted over now to his natural right uh, right field position. In center, taking Will Myers' place is Ben Revere. I think he's just a solid leadoff guy as you see here. Nothing special, just under an 80 overall. Got pretty decent speed. Um, also, our team is getting faster, so that's what we want. In the infield, we have Napoli at first. Uh, you can see he's nothing special, 76 overall. Honestly, guys, I would expect him to get traded within the first month of the season. I just kind of put him there. Um, in the middle infield, we still have Jed Jergo and Escobar. And at third now, we have Evan Longoria, which is huge. And at catcher, we have Derek Norris. Pitching rotation did go through a little change. James Shields, Andrew Kashner, Drew Smiley, Noah Syndergaard, and Henry Owens. We have two lefties. Noah Syndergaard obviously is going to get better. So is Smiley. Owens, a rookie, he makes the debut in the rotation. And in the bullpen, pretty much the same thing. We got Mujica and Elbert, who just came up. And Craig Kimbrell. Still there, closing things out. We did not re-sign Despagne or Benoit. Both of those guys will not return. So that is it. Your San Diego Padres are in season number two. The rotation got younger, and I think in the future, it will get very better, and it is still good right now. And our team got a little faster. Yes, we had a giveaway fan favorite in Matt Kemp, but we got a huge player back in Evan Longoria. We now have a very, very good third baseman. Again, Expect Napoli to get traded. I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for Season 2 of Padres Franchise.